Hi everyone, Sandra here from the Schwoben's Nest. Today I am participating in a Trash to Treasure Challenge. It's hosted every month by Casey at Coffee with My Sunshine. If you haven't seen Casey's channel, she does some amazing things, so please go check her out. Casey's co-host this month is Julia from The Mug Life. Julia has some great hauls and Dollar Tree DIYs and you should go check her out as well. We are supposed to take something that we would normally recycle or throw in the trash and create a treasure out of it. So I have this leftover paint can. I cleaned it up, got as much paint off as I could, and now I'm just going to spray paint the outside of it with this dark blue Rust-Oleum paint. Once the can was completely dry, I'm using some painter's tape to mask off some stripes. I'm going to use a lighter blue spray paint to paint some stripes on the can. In hindsight, I probably should have done the lighter color first and then the darker color because you don't really see too much of a difference, but I still liked how it turned out. Here's how it looks with the painter's tape taken off. What I'm going to do now is create a roof on top of the can. So I have these wood garden stakes that I picked up at Dollarama. They're 10 for $1.25. And the first 10 I'm going to do, actually, sorry, the first six I'm going to do six inches long. And then I'm going to do four more that are going to be seven inches long because I want the roof to have a little bit of a staggered tile effect and I'm going to be using the pieces that have the pointed arrow at the end. I'll have Casey and Julia's channel links in my description box along with the playlist link so don't forget to go check out everyone else's videos too. I'm going to spray paint the longer pieces with the dark blue and the shorter pieces with the light blue. I'm just giving them one coat. I'm just doing really short strokes, just making sure that I get the sides. I don't want this to be perfectly painted. I like some of the wood showing through. If you're watching my channel, you know I like more of a rustic look on pretty much everything that I do. So I love wood and I wood, wood textures. So I really like to have that peeking through. I'm using these sticks to create a roof. So this can will essentially turn into what looks a little bit like a birdhouse, but it's actually going to be a bird feeder. Starting with the shorter pieces, which are the light blue, I'm going to glue them with hot glue and have a little bit sticking over the edge of the can. And then I'll just alternate the pieces all the way across. Since I don't have the original lid for the can, I need to put something in the front that's going to prevent the bird seed from falling out. So I'm just using this little piece of wood and I'm going to trace out the edges of the can and then just cut it to fit. So since this is going to be a bird feeder, I figured the birds need something to stand on while they're eating. So I've got these two dowels left over from a previous project and I'm just going to cut one down to be about four inches so I can have it stick out a little ways from the can. 
To cut the dowel where I've marked it, I'm going to use the miter box and my hacksaw. I notched out a square in the half round piece and I also notched out part of the dowel so I would be able to fit the dowel into the lip of the can and then glue them in place. The last thing I need to do is figure out how I'm going to hang this thing. So I decided to take some of the wired jute twine from the Dollar Tree and I'm feeding a fairly long piece through. What I'm going to do is glue the twine to the can underneath and then make a loop around the top. With the ends of the twine, I'm going to just wind them around each other because the wire inside will make it be like a twist tie, which is perfect. It'll be nice and secure. Here's a look at how my bird feeder turned out. I'd like to say thank you to Casey and Julia for hosting this month's challenge. It was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel by hitting that red button, and don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I upload new content. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. <music>